Remember me, Stockwell Road School. Shirley Wilson. That's right. Oh. Dyed my hair since the uniform. <laughs> well, I never. How are you keeping? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Well, isn't it nice? My first day on this route, and I pick you up. <laughs> do you still live around here? Oh, yes, just around the corner from the old school. And you work up with? So do we. We want to get there this morning. Come on, we've got to get to work. Really, the manners of people these days. Room for one more inside. Sorry, that's the lot. Say bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, love. I've just taken the lid off. I had to come and tell you. I've just seen Sally Wilkins. She's joined the act. Thank heavens. <laughs> we won. Oh, um, can you come out in Hyde Park with me Saturday afternoon? Yes, why? Right. Well, I, I've got to try and pick up a French soldier. Eh? Well, it's a French national holiday, and Mum thought it'd be a good idea to find a French soldier and bring him back for supper. I wish I had a French mother. <laughs> well, will you come? Oh, what on earth do you want me with you for? Well, I mean, well, I couldn't go on my own. Oh, all right, but as long as you do all the talking, because I don't know enough French even to say no. <laughs> this jewellery is imitation. There you are, over there. Oh, no, they're not French. Oh, aren't they? Look, Ben, they're French. <laughs> I don't think we're cut out for this work, Vi. You know, we'll probably finish up getting arrested. Do you mean they'll think we're... Oh, crikey. <laughs> They are. He was looking at you, Vi. He's a French officer, isn't mm -hmm. he? In the Foreign Legion. Is he really? Oh, isn't that romantic, Vi? What do we do now? Wait? Your pardon, mademoiselle. Have you the time, if you please? The time? Oh, it's... Oh, lummy, I don't know. What's the time, Vi? Il est trois heures et demie. <laughs> vous avez raison, c'était une excuse. Je vous demande pardon, mademoiselle. <laughs> Je vous pardonne. 
Vous êtes française Non, je suis anglaise. Ma mère est française. Ah, je vois. Mais votre amie I'm sorry, mademoiselle. Now I speak English. It's all right. Is it permitted that I sit down? Oh, yes, yes, sit down. Well, go on by, ask him. <laughs> well, it's just that my mother thought that if you've got nothing to do, you'd like to come back and have supper with us. But, mademoiselle, I don't know your mother. Oh, that doesn't matter. What? C'est le 14 juillet. Oh, I understand. She sent you to seek a lonely Frenchman that she might entertain him. Will you come? Why not? Oh, I beg your pardon, mademoiselle. Lieutenant Etienne Zabou, à votre service. Oh, uh, well, um, I'm Philip Bushel, and uh, this is Winnie Watson. Mademoiselle? Well, now we all know each other, don't we? <laughs> I bet you haven't heard this one. It's terrific. I got it for one of the boys last week. There we are. Another glass of wine like the officers have. I wish health to you, monsieur. To madame. And to the charming Mademoiselle Violet. Here, here. I'm so glad Violet found you. It's been a lovely evening, hasn't it, Charles? First glass. The look was for me. I'm so happy. Search fine stories of your adventures. If I'd been a man, I'd like to have been a professional soldier. All those wonderful places you've seen. Algiers, Tunis, Morocco. Did you have a rough time getting out of Dunkirk? Oh, please, sir. One day, perhaps. Maybe we dance, mademoiselle. Yes. Excuse me, madame. I think your parents are very charming. Where were you born? In England? Yes, I was born in London. But my parents met in France in the last war. I understand. I say, look at Vi. The first time I've ever seen her take an interest in a boy. She may be my sister, chum, but I'm warning you. She's a terror with the boys. Oh! You asked for it, right? Now you've got it. It's just your right. I'm sorry. Oh. Quick, music. Start the music. Quick. Bully. Oh. There you are, the toughest one in the family. <laughs> will you have another drink? No, thank you, madame. If you will excuse me, I must get back now. I'm on duty tonight. Perhaps, perhaps in the next days, you would teach me something of London. If you will permit, madame. But of course. Oh, I'd love to. Well, I'll just walk along with you. No, 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 Charles. Au revoir, madame. Merci encore pour votre gentillesse. Nous avons été ravis. Bonsoir. Cheerio. All the best. Bye-bye. Good night, monsieur. Good night. Good night, mademoiselle. I'll fetch your cap. Come on, Dad, have a sing song. Oh, oh, what do we have? Mild Dutch. Mild Dutch. Okay, lovely. Mild Dutch. All right, <laughs> off we go. We've been together now for 40 years, and it don't seem a day. Seven o'clock tomorrow, Hyde Park, the same seat. I shall remember. I'll try not to be late. Good night, Violette. Au revoir, Etienne.
very sweet in the moonlight. What are you thinking? I was pretending that we were in the south of France, sitting in a lovely hotel looking out at the sea. From my home in Marseille, I could look at the sea. Oh, I'd love to go to Marseille and Monte Carlo. When we are married, we will go together and to Paris. Have you been to Paris? I used to go over in the summer when I was a kid and stay with relations, but that was in the country. It's the most wonderful city in the world, Paris. The trees in the bois, the shops in the Champs Elysees. In the spring, it is fairyland. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. I, uh... Hey! Put that leg out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Dad, I forgot about the curtains. That's all right, I was looking for my pipe. I'm sorry, monsieur, I should have gone. Yes, well, it is getting on. Uh, bye, your mother wants you in the kitchen. What for? I don't know, she wants you. Get along now. Well, now, Etienne. Monsieur, I wish to say something. Well, all right. You know, I have known Violet only a little time. Soon I go away. Yes, well, that's just please, it. Please, Michel, I... please. I wish to say... <laughs> please, monsieur. I want your permission to marry your daughter. Marry her? You want to marry her? Thank you, Monsieur. Thank hey, you. Hey, steady on. Not so fast. This one's thinking about you now. But we are sure, Monsieur. Ah, you may be sure, but what damn it all, old man? You've only known the girl for three days. But Monsieur, it is not time that tells these things, but the heart. We love each other. No, no, no. It won't do. She's too young. I'm not having it. I want you. Now, bye. I'm sorry, Dad, but Etienne and I are going to get married. Monsieur he Michel. asked him first because he's French and he thought he ought to, but it won't make any difference. Oh, won't it? No, it won't. Oh. Well. All right, then, Wolf. What are we arguing about? Oh, Dad. <laughs> oh, Etienne. Yeah, let's. <laughs> There we are, Madame Zabou. A week ago today, we were on our way here. We celebrate the occasion tonight with champagne. My darling. Please, darling, don't look anymore. When the honeymoon is over, we go back to the war. See those trees over there? I'll race you to them. All right. I love you. Darling, will you laugh at me if I tell you something? Last night, when you were asleep, I wrote a little poem about my love for you. Poem? Oh, it's not very good, but, well, the words came into my mind when I wrote them down. You read it. I, I want to hear you read it. I think I remember it. The life that I have is all that I have. And the life that I have is yours. The love that I have of the life that I have is yours and yours and yours. 
sleep I shall have, rest I shall have, yet death will be but a pause, for the peace of my years in the long green grass will be yours, and yours, and yours. That's all of it. Thank you, darling. It's beautiful. Etienne? Well? You didn't answer my question. How long can we stay here? I heard this morning. In two days, we must return. In three days, I go. Where? Overseas, I don't know where. Oh, Violet, my darling, you know this must be. Yes. I know. Can't be helped. We've still got three days. Oh, you will come back, won't you? Of course I shall come back. Soon the war will be finished. Then we have another honeymoon. We go together to Notre Dame and give thanks. Which we have first, a girl or a boy? We shall have a girl. Then we'll take her with us to Paris, and I shall buy for her the prettiest little dress in the world. You know, I think I'd rather have a boy. No, I insist upon a girl. Then she will grow up to look just like you. And I shall be twice as proud. in North Africa, I knew there wasn't much hope. How is he? Have you heard from him? No. No, no, I haven't, not for some time. I've been a bit worried, really. Well, letters take a long time to come, don't they, lovey? Mm. Isn't Tanya going to cut her cake? Oh, yes. You know what they say, no news is good news. <laughs> <laughs> come on, darling, stand up. Cut the cake, come on. And... Oh, oh well done. Come on, the other side. Oh, there we are. Now, first plate, please. There we are. I think that's too Who's large. Who's going to have it? Oh, oh, I thought there yes. was. Oh, thanks. Mum, could you answer it? Yes. One more bit. Who else? This is Arbo. My name's Potter. Come and sit down, won't you? Thank you. Well, I suppose you're wondering why I sent for you. I expect it's about the pension. I understand you're partly French, Mrs. Zabel. My mother is French. And your husband was in the French army? Yes. 
He was killed at Ella Main six months ago. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. You, um... You speak French yourself, of course. Yes, I was brought up to speak French and English. And you're quite an athlete, I'm told. And you're something of a crack shot with a rifle. Mr. Potter, if it's about the pension, then I really don't... Well, actually, that. Mrs. Arbo, it's not about the pension. But you wrote to me. Yes, I know. Ministry of Pensions. That's not correct. I belong to quite a different department. Well, if it's not about the pension, why am I here? Because I think that you have certain qualifications which might be of great use. What for? The war effort. I must tell you at once, it comes under the heading of dangerous work. Look, I, uh, I really don't think you've got hold of the right person. What kind of work? Well, briefly, we're doing everything we can to make things as difficult for the Germans as we can. In every way that we can. From blowing up their troop trains to uh, putting chalk in their ink. The French are magnificent, of course. But they have to be organized and supplied. We need liaison people. It's quite a job. Yes. Yes, I, I suppose it is. One more thing. The Germans don't like what we're doing. They don't like it at all. In certain circumstances, they react violently and brutally. Well, now, are you interested? I don't know. I don't know. Since your husband died, you've rather shut yourself away from everybody, haven't you? Oh, we have to make some fairly close inquiries before we interview people for this sort of work. Oh, yes, I see. Well, I just couldn't seem to face up to things. Quite. But you're picking up the threads again now, aren't you? I'm trying to. Good. Well, I'd like you to turn this over in your mind. I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Potter. I, I, I really don't think I can be of any use to you. I suppose you're thinking about your baby. Well, she's all I have. What if anything happened to me? Yes, of course. Well, that's something that you must think about. But you don't have to make up your mind right away. Why don't you come and see me again in a week's time? Yes, yes. Yes, all right, if you wish. You do realize that you must tell nobody about this interview, nobody at all, not even your parents. Yes, of course. Mr. Potter, wouldn't it be possible to find someone else for this job? I don't know. It might be possible. But you see, it's taken us a long time to find you. There are so few people with your qualifications. Oh, just a moment. Don't forget your pass. Otherwise, you'll be here forever. Oh, good afternoon. My name's Vera Atkins. I'm looking for Mrs. Zabo. Oh, that's me. Will you come in? Thank you. You don't know me, but I'm working in the same department as Mr. Potter. Oh, would you come in here, please? Thank you. Mr. Potter got your letter. He just wanted me to see you to make sure that you understand the step you're taking. Well, I've thought about it for two weeks, and... I know now, is there anything I can do? You realize your decision is entirely voluntary. No pressure will be used. 
I still want to join. Good. Will you sit down? Thank you. Oh, what a dear little girl. It's Tanya, isn't it? Yes. How old is she? Just over two. And yet you still want to do this? My husband was killed fighting in the desert. For his sake, I... I couldn't live the rest of my life knowing I'd failed to do my bit. He never saw Tanya. But I suppose, in a way, he was fighting for her. And now it's my turn. You do realize it may end the same way for you? Yes, I do realize that. Right. The first thing to do is to get you into uniform. Then you won't be asked awkward questions about what you're doing. You'll be commissioned as an officer in the Fannies. Can you start at once? Oh, yes. My mother will look after Tanya. Good. May we come in? Of course, ma'am. Hello, darling. Oh, did she have a nice walk? Oh, this is my mother, Miss Atkins. How do you do? And my father. How do you do? Pleased to meet you, Miss Atkins. What do you think? I'm going to the Fannies. What? You mean you've joined up? What is the Fannies? Oh, uh, first aid nursing yeomanry, you know. Driving ambulances, running canteens, that sort of thing. Yes, that's right. Oh, well. That sounds a nice job. Oh! <sighs> Look, miss. You're gonna fight the Germans. You're, you're gonna help us win the war, right? Yes. It's a very clever girl. Now we'll try again. This is the best of the bunch. I can't stand it. I'm going sick. Right now. I'm a jerry, you see? And I'm coming towards you. I've got a big knife in that answer. That's the one you've got to watch, right? Right now, here I come. Pay attention over there. I'm not doing this for my benefit. Look, miss, I... Never mind, get back in the line. Thank fear. Ladies. I've told you, I've told you time and time again. When you fall, fall properly. And you don't hurt yourselves. I mean, it's very simple. A child could do it. Watch me. If only you break his bloody neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Uh, you quite comfortable? I suppose you're waiting for the bang? Yes. yes. And in the meantime, if I'd have been a German sentry, I could have come over here, knocked you two off, gone over to that bridge, unplugged the fuse, and gone home and had me dinner! Have you got a revolver? Yes. Tell me where it is. In the holster. You're keeping it warm, I suppose. The number of times I've told you! Never leave yourselves undefended! some arm with it. 
Well, that was very good. You can all get back to base now. Can we come back in the lorry with you, Sergeant? Oh, you can walk. But it's seven miles. Eight. Give you a nice appetite for breakfast, won't it? Driver! from base now. About two miles. See where we are? Rink Motto HQ. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a nice hot cup of tea. Wouldn't you prefer a whiskey? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. One thing to live off the land, that's part of your training. But it's another to make an irresponsible raid on government property and steal government liquor and damage government personnel. We'll be up before the CO this morning. All right now, who's responsible? I am, Sergeant. No, oh, no, no all of us were equally responsible. OK, OK, all right. But I can tell you here and now, the CO's going to have something to say about this. Did I say dismiss? Come back here. Come back here. What's the matter with you? Oh, bloody women. There's one thing more. And it gives me pain. Great pain to say it. I'm proud to have you in my section. I've been trying to put something over on those commandos for a year now. <laughs> Go on, you're dismissed. Oh, by the way, uh, there's an end-of-course party on Thursday night in the mess. The drinks are on you. <laughs> well, I suppose Winston knows what he's doing. Keep your legs together. What are you trying to do, split yourself in two? I don't know, even the women are better than you are. That's something I thought I'd never say. All right, I'll pray it again, 1,400 hours. Fall out. The thing is, you see, I don't like heights. I get airsick on top of a bus. Oh, you should have joined the Navy. Well, if you can do it, I suppose I can. Which is the next course I'm scared of. The finishing school? <laughs> Finish me? All that psychological stuff. You know what they do? They invent a new personality for you. Yes? 
Hmm. Your name, your background, everything. What about your present background? Do you live in London? No exchange of personal information. Security instructions, subclause 144A. You're learning fast. Yeah. You know the studio club? It's in Knightsbridge. Oh, no, that's not my part of London. When we're through this, we might meet. Look at that chap. I'll never be able to do it like that. Have a drink? Do a theatre, maybe? What? Oh, yes. Yes, we might. Yes. Ready. See you on the flying trapeze. Yes. I wish we could get out and walk. You were all right yesterday? Beginner's luck. So far, I've landed on everything except my face. I've got a feeling this is the day. Right, we're coming up over the DZ now. Just remember everything you've been told. You've been dropping in a stick of five. Right, stand by for action. Action stations! Go! I did it. Easy. Nothing to it. What's the matter? Uh, my ankle's gone. Here, hang on to me. Looks as though you got yourself a spot of leave. Oh, no, I must finish the course. Oh, no. Medical orders subclause 54B. Je vais mettre la bouillotte dans ton lit, chérie. Merci, maman. As soon as that's better, I suppose you'll be off again. Yes, I shall. Hmm. Well, next time you might write to your mother a bit more often. She worries, you know. I did write. Twice in three months. And what did you say? Nothing. And even now, you've been home two weeks, and what have you told us? Helping in canteens, driving lorries. Do you really think what you're doing is helping to win the war? I've got to believe it. Well, I don't believe it. And what about your spare time? What do you do with that? You meet men, don't you? Sometimes. Officers, I suppose. Yes, officers. The men I work with. Sometimes we make up a party, go to a theatre or a nightclub or something. Well, what's wrong with that? I'm not a child. You're not much more. Oh, Dad. All right, you've been married and you've got a baby, but that doesn't mean you know it all, you know? Look, boy. I don't know what it is, but you've changed. You used to tell us everything. I wish you'd live at home with us instead of racketing around all over the place. I can't. I've got to get around. It's part of my work. What? Then crock yourself up like that? Look, I told you. I twisted it jumping out of a lorry. Now, what does that prove? That I'm having a mad flirtation with a colonel? Well, I don't know what to think. Oh, don't be so stupid. All right. You do what you like. But I tell you this, my girl. If you're not careful, you'll come to a bad end. Now, you mark my words. Oh. Wrong, Charlie. It's 
vase. It fell out of her bag. What is it? The parachute badge. That's how she hurt her ankle. Fell out of your bag. I spoke out of turn, didn't I? I'm sorry if I. You got much more of it to do. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't tell you anything. I'm not allowed to. It's okay, Vi. I can guess what the job is, and I'm sure you're doing it for a good reason. Yes, I am. Fair enough. No more questions. And if you get a chance to have a bit of fun, you take it, bless you. four weeks to get you here now. What about tomorrow night? Well, we can't plan as far ahead as there. Oh, pity. That's the worst of all, no time. Here today and gone tomorrow, new places, new faces. Just when you're getting to like one particular face. I wonder if that isn't the best of all. No time to get attached. I see. I'd like to ask you something sometime. No time like the present. Let's go outside. I can do this job? Don't you? I don't know. I get frightened. You got through your training all right? Oh, yes, I know, but when it comes to the real thing. If it does, shall I feel the same? It's so important not to fail. You won't fail. You'll do a grand job. Oh, I want to. I want to so much. Don't worry too much about it. We're all in the same boat. None of us really knows how he'll stand up to it until the time comes. I'm just afraid of being afraid. It sounds silly. But... I know. The thing is to face up to that one and accept it. Then you'll be able to control it. Yes. Yes, I see that. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. Oh, goodness, we are being serious, aren't we? All right, let's go and dance then. <laughs> well, this is Troy's damn bad luck. The Ruan group was one of our best. What are we going to do about it? We'll just have to have another try. I'm sending Fraser into France again. Fraser? Yes, why not? He formed the Ruan group originally. Yes, yes, I know. What's wrong? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's just a personal reaction. I find him rather a strange chap. Seems so remote. That's why he's such a good agent. <laughs> he doesn't have to work at it 24 hours a day. Hello, Fraser. How'd you like the parachute course? I didn't, sir. Give me a nice French train every time. Well, you've seen this signal. Yes, Vera showed it to me. Are you sure it's genuine? It's from Paris. Absolutely reliable. 
The trouble is the lack of detail. Somebody's talked. There have been arrests. That's all we know for certain. Well, we'll soon know the truth. It can be very dangerous for you, Tony. Your face is plastered all over Rouen. You're bound to be recognized in a town of 116,000. 116,467, to be precise. Look, I'm the only one that knows all the contacts. If there has been a roundup, we may have to begin again from scratch and time short. That whole area right through to the coast is solid with Gestapo. It's worth trying, surely. No, I don't think it is. I've got a better idea. I'm going to send somebody over with you. You can stay out of Rouen itself. Your assistant can go in and discover what's going on, reporting to you as and when necessary. Agreed? If you say so, sir, of course. It'd have to be somebody good. It'd be tricky. They'd be working blind. Who are you giving me? Vera. Come in, will you? Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. You know each other, of course. Yes, but... Uh... It seemed to us a woman would be less liable to suspicion in Rouen than a man. Don't you agree? Yes, I suppose so. I've already explained the mission briefly to Violette. She's confident she can carry out your instructions. I hope so. I'm sure she can. Quite sure. Good. Well, Captain Fraser knows the area well. In fact, he organized the Rouen group, so you in turn can rely on him. Yes. I see. Well, come and look at the map. If only you can find one or two of your old contacts and a bit of explosive, that'll be something. What's in your mind, sir? Look, here's the main railway line from Germany through Rouen to La Havre. It's in constant use by the Bosch. West of Rouen, the line crosses a viaduct. This must be blown. Yes, I know that viaduct. Well, let's get down to details. With luck, we can get you over at the next moon. Your identity card, clothing coupons, Russian cards, and money. 600 pounds in French francs. Will you sign for them here, please? If you want any more, I can let you have some. I've never been so rich in my life. Oh, I've checked through your toilet things. It's all right, I see you've used them. Yes, but last week. Good. You're quite safe with them. I'll check your handbag. Oh, right. Well, how do I look? The perfect secretary. I hate this jacket. Has worn this year in Rouen. You can't check the rest of me, but I assure you it's all French. It's fair enough. Oh, just one other thing. Your lethal pill, just in case of accidents. Keep it somewhere safe and handy. No, thanks. I don't have to have it, do I? Well, no, but... It's all right. Anyway, they're not going to catch me. As you wish. Cigarettes, matches, a picture of a child. These you'll have to leave behind. Right. Oh, just one more English cigarette. Well, this is where it really starts. Yes. How do you feel? A, a bit sort of unreal. I know. I did the first time. All those months of training, blood and sweat and tears, building up, you think, to a tremendously exciting climax. And suddenly, here you are, in the middle of the night, with your little suitcase, trotting off in a tiny, unarmed aircraft to fight the German army all by yourself. Crazy, isn't it? Come on, they're waiting to kiss us goodbye.
inşallah. Beni bit. Monsieur Dumont, it is good to see you again. Good to see you. Mademoiselle Lourdois. Welcome, mademoiselle. Can you get a Dourdois as quickly as possible? You can ride a bicycle? Yes. We will take her to friends nearby, and in the morning she can board the train for Rouen. Good. It's no good telling you where to start in Rouen. You'll just have to use your wits. You've got the names and addresses. Yes, I only hope one of them's still there. If you can get the viaduct blown up, good, but don't take any unnecessary risks. I'm relying on you to get back to me to report. Yes, of course. We'll meet then in Paris, as arranged, three weeks from now, that's the 28th. I'll be there. Good luck, mademoiselle. And you, monsieur. Well, you are the mademoiselle. We have a car waiting, monsieur. Why not come in here, mademoiselle? We have a seat too many. Oh, thank you very much. May I offer you a cigarette? Oh, no, no, thank you. Do you mind if we smoke? Please do. Cigarette? Thank you, sir. Are you going through to Rouen? Yes. You work in a war? No, I, I'm visiting relatives. Oh, uh, what kind of work do you do? Oh, I'm just a secretary. Well, that's very interesting. My little daughter, she wants to be a secretary. Oh, really? Photograph you. Yes, isn't she pretty? Here's a photograph of my wife and my children. Mademoiselle, where do your relatives live? I don't know. I'm going to find them. You have somewhere to stay? I shall stay in a hotel. Thank you. But, Mademoiselle, you will find accommodation very difficult in Rouen. I stay in a small hotel. I could find you a room there. I'd rather not, thank you. In any case, I must look for my relatives. But I can find them so much more quickly than you can. I insist that you allow me to help you. Very well, monsieur. Thank you. Right, this way. Nehmen Sie den Koffer, der Dame. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Have you a room for mademoiselle? Certainly, monsieur. The usual room for you, monsieur. Annette? Mademoiselle, I should be pleased if you would dine with me tonight. Thank you. Here at 8 o'clock? Very well. Mademoiselle. This way, mademoiselle.
Madame Bonneau. She's not here. Is Monsieur Bonneau here? Neither my mother nor my father are here. Well, what time will they be back? I must see them urgently. They've been taken by the Germans. And I don't want to be seen talking to you. my last contact, madame. None of the others have been able to help me. How many of the group are left? If I knew, I would tell you. But I don't. I only know that many have been caught. I'm trying to trace a Monsieur Garnier. Garnier. He works at Bertrand's garage. Where's that? In the Rue du Bonnier. But be careful. We are not too sure of him. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'll be careful. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Can I hire a bicycle here? Uh, no, mademoiselle, no. no. Oh. Is there anywhere else in Rouen I could try? Not that I know of. Oh, well. Never mind. It's a nice day for walking. It's good that the spring is here at last. Yes. It has been a long winter. And now the days are drawing out. What do you want to know? How many of the group are left? It's a tragedy, mademoiselle. I have 98 members, only myself and two others remain. It's terrible. Have you any explosive? Yes, plenty. Do you know how to use it? You and the other two. Uh, we are watched all the time, mademoiselle. The get stuff off. What is the target? It's the viaduct that carries the main line to Le Havre, 20 kilometers west of here. The viaduct? But it's guarded night and day. Will you try? I'll speak to the others. I, you must not stay When there. will you see them? Tonight, perhaps tomorrow. Tonight? But, Mademoiselle, I... Please. I'll call back in the morning. But, mademoiselle, you just don't realize. I know that if it's possible, you'll do it. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Geheime Staatspolizei. Your name? Corinne Van Leroy. Address? 64 Rue Thiers, Le Havre. Your papers? What are you doing in Rouen? I'm trying to find some relatives. At Berton's garage? I wanted to hire a bicycle. And did you hire one? No. Barry said he had none. It took him a very long time to tell you that. He's a talkative man. You come with us. Ali. Herein. 
Hitler. Hitler. This woman was talking to the man Garnier at Bertrand's garage. I suspect that he was passing information to her. This is a surprise, mademoiselle. Good morning. You know each other, Herr Ober? Yes. The chair. You'll understand, mademoiselle, that we must take precautions. I'm sure you meant no harm, but... Why were you talking to the men at the garage? Well, it's very simple. I was trying to hire a bicycle. As I told you, I'm trying to find some relatives and... Well, just got tired of walking. The garage has no bicycles for hire. Yet they talked for several minutes. I thought it quite possible the man might know of my relatives and perhaps give me some news of them. And did he? Well, he knew my uncle by name, but... Well, that's all. Yes. And what is your uncle's name? Gourmier, Marcel Gourmier. Oberst, the woman is lying. Isn't that for you to decide? Well, mademoiselle, it appears that my men have been a little, shall we say, overzealous. Please accept my apologies. By the way, what happened last night? You promised to dine with me. I waited over an hour. Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I got uh, caught in the air raid. Yes, of course. And then you'll dine with me tonight instead? Well, that will be charming. Excellent. At eight o'clock, then. Au revoir. Mademoiselle. She has tricked you, Herr Oberst. You don't understand. I understand perfectly. You really think I can be fooled as easily as that? You think she was receiving information? Probably. Shall we have her followed? No, not yet. Not until... Not until after dinner tonight. Well, if he thinks I'm having dinner with him tonight, he's got a long wait ahead of him. You're quite sure he suspects? Yes, I'm quite sure. He was so ready to believe me. And much too quick with his invitation to dinner. Did Monsieur Garnier help you at the garage? I think he will. I don't know. I don't know what to make of him. Realize, my child, you're in great danger. You must get out of Rouen by 8 o'clock tonight. Yes. I've got to get to Paris. Well, I think I can help you. Bonjour, Corinne. Bonjour, Robert. Ça va? Ça va? Come and sit down here. Right on time. Good girl. Oh, it's good to see you. You're looking tired. I am. I'm all right, though. Well, what's the news? Then breathe for now. It's not good. The Rouen group's had it, I'm afraid. Three left out of 98. And I'm not sure of them. But you got the viaduct. What? The viaduct, it went up last night. Didn't you know? It did it. Did it? He certainly did. Blew it sky high with an ammo train on it. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's go and find some lunch. Will we go home tonight? Not for two or three days. I'll have to fix the plane. Take a look at Paris. Try to do some shopping. Or have you done it? <laughs> it's the most marvelous dress. I couldn't resist it. Black market, of course. Terribly expensive. I've uh, mortgaged my pay for months. Where'd you get it? Well, you know. Well, you know, but that's where all the Germans take their girlfriends. Is it? Oh. Oh, look. I must get that for Tanya. But, my dear girl, you're broke. Oh, you said you'd lend me some if I ran out? But that was in an emergency. Well, what do you think this is? Why do they let women into the army? Here. Help yourself. Thank you. Look, there's a restaurant. I'll go and get a table. Yes, I won't be long. Elle est vraiment jolie, parce que j'aimerais l'acheter pour mon fils.
shall have a girl. Then we will take her with us to Paris, and I shall buy for her the prettiest little dress in the world. Soon the war will be finished. Then we'll go together to Notre Dame and give thanks. Tired, I could sleep for a week. Violette, enjoy your rest. You've deserved it. Serve you. Oh, it'll be wonderful to wake up in the morning without that tight feeling in the stomach. We might not get the chance to work together again. You know, ships that pass in the night, that sort of thing. I hope we won't lose sight of each other. Of course not. After all we've been through together. You can't get rid of me so easily, you know. Right, that's settled. Bring you tomorrow morning. Oh, you're hopeless. God bless you. Good night. Darling. Hello, darling. Hello. Mummy's back. Hello. Hello, darling. Would you like to see the lovely thing I brought for you? Yes. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, what a good girl. Come on, just for a few minutes. Oh. <laughs> oh, Violet, oh, darling. darling. Oh. Hey, hold on, hold on. What about my turn? Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, my, I've got so much to ask you. No question, Charles. Oh. oh, come on, let's go and have a cup of tea, shall we? Yes. Oh, no sleep tonight, Mother. <laughs> oh, I haven't, you darling. You miss me. Of course she hasn't. She's been as naughty as you used to be. Dad, could you bring in the other things, please? All right. Oh, it's lovely to be home. Yeah, well, things haven't changed much, Vi. Right? No, they're just the same. Good. Then just sit there, darling. Ah. Yes, I'm going to open this box right. oh. and see what I've brought back for you. Yes, just like Christmas, eh? <laughs> you open that one, Dad. I'll open this, yep. Now then, what have we got here? Oh. Wow. Oh. Stand up, darling. Let me see if it fits you. Oh, it's too big. No, it's too big. No, it's, no, it's too big, darling. Mm. Well, never mind. You'll soon grow into it. <laughs> now, Dad. Uh. This is for you. Oh. Oh, now, Vi, you shouldn't have done that. Now, really. Well, look, that's just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> and, Mum, I've got some perfume for you. Oh, I know you like it. What a wonderful surprise it all is. <laughs> uh, Dad, could you give me that box there? Yes, yes here we well. Thanks. Here we are. Well, now, this is... Uh, well. well, it's... Uh, Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's Wonderful. really beautiful, beautiful. Only in Paris you could. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, Vi, the boys are coming on leave tomorrow. Oh, that's grand. I got something for them, too. Oh, don't worry. They'll just be pleased to see you. I'll go get the tea. Oh. Oh. 
You know, Violet, it will be the first time we've all been together for so long. I wonder... Well, we must make the most of it. Look at that dress. Doesn't it make you envious? No, angry. Some people forget there's a war on. Well, look who's here. Oh, hello, Hi. Hi. Oh, lovely. Come and have a drink. Yes, please. I don't believe it. Violet, you look ravishing. That dress, if I didn't know you better, I'd say it was straight from Paris. French from head to toe. You don't know Bob, do you? No. Uh, Lieutenant Bob Mortier, Violet Zabou. Nice to know How you. How do you do? Would you like to dance? Well, thank you. Oh, no, you don't. This one's mine. Sorry. Couldn't miss this one. Denise's friend seems nice. Bob Mortier, yes, he does. Remember the last time we were here? Yes, I do. What's happened since then? They were playing this tune. It's been my favorite ever since. I hope you don't get too fond of it, Tony. No, of course not. All the same, don't shut yourself up in a memory forever. I know what you mean. When will the next time be? There won't be a next time. Not for you. Why not? Let's sit down. Table already, sir. Thank you. Now listen. You did a magnificent job, but they won't send you in again. Yes, but surely. No, it's always more dangerous the second time. Well, I don't want to go. It's not that I. Tanya, is that it? Yes. I don't think I could bear to leave her anymore. What about you? Will you go again? That's rather beside the point, isn't it? No, not really. If you went, I should worry about you. Oddly enough, I find that rather a comforting thought. <laughs> Bob's bought you a drink. Get a drink. I know it's asking a great deal. You've every right to say no, and we certainly shan't hold it against you if you do. But this is a vital operation, and we're short of good people. So I've no option but to ask you. Well? Of course I'll go. Thank you. I think if I could find a replacement, it'd be better. No. But this is going to be a dangerous mission. Much more dangerous than last time. You're trying to get rid of me? That doesn't even need an answer. You want her with you, don't you, Tony? Yes, but... Yes, I do. Good. Well, then, at this stage, I can't tell you what your mission will be. In fact, you may not be briefed until the last moment. But I can tell you this. You'll be operating in the Limoges area, You'll be dropped by parachute at Susac, and I want you to be prepared to go at the next moon. That's round about the 6th of June. Any comment? Well, that's all for the moment. All right, then, if you forgive me, I've got plenty to get on with. Right. Oh, okay, I can have a word with you. Yes, come on. Well, what is it you want? Vera, I've taken your advice, and I've made a will. Oh. Would you look after it for me? Of course. Not that there's much to make a fuss about. There's a hundred pounds or so in the bank that Etienne left me, plus my pay. That's for Tanya, of course. Mm -hmm. If anything happened to me, there would be a pension, wouldn't there? Yes. Well, then there are one or two bits and pieces for my mother, a bracelet Etienne left me, and my wedding and engagement rings. Well, it's better to have everything straight. Just put this in my drawer till you come back. Vera, thanks for everything. Good luck, Violet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Why do we insist that you do this? So that if anything happens to me, I can't possibly remember the code I've used. Exactly. You can't remember it, so they can't get it out of you. But what happens if you have to destroy this silk? Well, then I have to use a poem instead, a poem I've memorized. The enemy know you'll have destroyed this code, so they'll do everything in their power to make you tell them your poem. Always remember, if ever the Germans get your poem, they can transmit to England and endanger the lives of all the people who come after you. Will you leave us now, Miss Shaw? Yes, sir. Now, Violet, your poem. This will only be known by us, too. Yes, I understand. I have a large selection for you to choose from. They come in all sizes. Could I use one that I know, please? Certainly, if you remember it well. Yes, I remember it very well. Can I hear it? The life that I have is all that I have. And the life that I have is yours. The love that I have of the life that I have is yours and yours and yours. A sleep I shall have, a rest I shall have. Yet death will be but a pause. For the peace of my years in the long green grass will be yours and yours and yours. You'll never forget that, will you? No, I'll never forget it. I'll work something out on that and let you have it. That's settled then. In this establishment, it's considered bad luck to say good luck. So I'll just say au revoir. Au revoir. What a darling. Going away again, Mummy? Yes, darling, just for a little while. But I'll be back soon and then we'll have a party and you can wear your lovely dress. Take care of yourself, love. Of course I will. Oh, when the war's over, I'll start a new career. What as? Cat burglar. Climbing walls, opening safes. I know it all. Goodbye, Mum. I won't worry. It's past midnight. D-Day plus one. We should be crossing the Normandy coast now. Wonder how they're doing down there. Well, we'll soon see. Okay, chaps. Let's get ready.
Marquesa. Number two. SS Panzer Division approaching from Toulouse. They should be passing through Salon Latour, that's 20 kilometers west of here, tomorrow or the day after. They will not pass us, you know. Maybe not, but more Germans will be coming up any day now, using every road. What about the other groups, east and west of here? They will fight. Random skirmishes won't do any good. No, each group must know exactly what to do and when to do it. All right, give each leader his orders and he will obey them. I shall set up our headquarters here. We must get word through to the leader of each group immediately. I could go. No, you must stick by your radio. Why don't you send me? There's no one else. All right. The group's west of here first, then south, then east. I will present her to the leader in the west. And he can pass her on to the next group. But you'll need it here to control this group. I can be back in three, four hours. All right. Make sure that you are. We can't carry on here without you. Well, when do we start? Tomorrow morning early. Magnificent. I prepare the car right away. Georges, I'm on. Come on. Bonsoir. 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 Bob, get Madame to rustle up some food, will you? Then we must work out the details for Violet. Right. You don't want me to go, do you? No, I don't. I can take care of myself. I'd rather you didn't have to. You might look after yourself, too. Salon Latour. That is where we cross the main road from the south. Through a village, is that a good idea? I was born there. They know me. They will warn us if there are Germans around. Oh, that's all right then. Look, that is the house where I was born. You see that church tower there? Mm -hmm. I climbed to the top of that when I was nine years old. I like climbing trees when I was a kid. You know, I, I think you are too young and too pretty for this kind of work. You ought to see me before breakfast. <laughs> Any Germans gone through today? Germans? No, but I have this gun ready if they do. You keep your gun to shoot rabbits. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Don't look at him. Ah, 
Finish. There's a car. We must go on the others. Grenades. together.
schießen, bis ich die Order gebe. Hier wird kommen. Der Mann ist über den Fluss entkommen. You put up a good fight, Mademoiselle. Zigarette? Well, we shall see. Up here. Your ankle is getting better. I hope they are giving you treatment for it. You Germans are most considerate. Now, Violet, you see? Already we know who you are. It's only a question of time before we find out everything. Tell us what we want to know. And we'll guarantee your life and the lives of your friends. You must think I'm a half wit. I'm sorry you choose to be difficult, but I'm used to that. I'm very patient. Don't you realize the British are only making use of you? I am British. I thought you were French, as your husband was. I should have you shot right away, but I don't want to. You have a child, haven't you? What will become of your child if you die? Come now, be sensible. You're young, you're attractive, you're in Paris, and the sun is shining. Would you like some new clothes? The theater, perhaps. Supper at Maxime. I should be honored. before you have taken the same attitude. But not for long. We will try again tomorrow, madame. to your cell, you behaved very foolishly. Here in the Avenue Foch, the change of scene may help you. Now, when and where were you dropped? I don't remember. Who was your commanding officer? What contacts did you make in France? I never knew their names. Violette, you mustn't take us for fools. Are you going to go on refusing to answer my questions? I refuse to tell you anything. You have 
even yourself to blame now. Now, tell me from whom you take your orders. I'll tell you nothing. How long has she been kept away? 72 hours. Uh, so hot. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm ready for her. Not yet, Violet. You cannot sleep yet. Soon you can sleep. Can you hear me, Violet? Soon you can sleep. We know you destroyed your code, so you must tell us your poem. All we want from you, before we let you sleep, are the words of your poem. Open your eyes, Violet, and tell me your poem, and then you can sleep. What are the words of your poem? Come now. Tell me, and then you can rest. Rest they shall have. What kind of poem? What kind of poem is it, Violet? You can sleep then. The sleep they shall have. It's the love poem. Not a love poem. A poem of death. Last night. Tell me, Violet. I wrote a written poem for the remainder of our union. The sleep I shall have. Rest I shall have. And then we be but oppose. The peace of my years in the long green grass will be yours and yours and yours. It's beautiful. Now it's my turn. Let me say it. I want to say it. It will be a long time. Ah. Now you will tell me your poem. on your Paris. In a few days you will be free. Oh, it's wonderful to be with you again. 
No idea. I can't stop thinking about when I opened my eyes and saw you two in the cell. Remember when Lillian fell out of the train up in Scotland? It took three days to find her. <coughs> Poor kid. <coughs> She's had an awful time. I look after her. All right, you follow us. I think we can get out through that door. Let's try. Oh, 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 for leaving us. I'm sorry, I can't get any closer. Tony, what happened? How did they get you? I took a chance. There was a train needed blowing up. I wasn't quick enough and they nabbed me. What about you? Did Jacques get back? Oh, yeah, he got back, thanks to you. And the German division, did it get through? No, they held them up all along the line. Oh, thank God he turned out all right. Violet. You were a friend, weren't you? Did you go to the Avenue Foch? Don't tell me, don't spoil it. Did you? Well, once or twice, but 
They didn't get anything out of me. It wasn't bad, really, it wasn't. Oh, God. You too. No, it doesn't matter now. We're together again for a while. New places, new faces. Is that what you said in the studio club? Did I? I'm getting tired of new places, aren't you? Darling, if we get out of this... When we get out. All right, when? Won't be long now, just a few weeks. I shan't ever let you out of my sight again. I shan't ever want you to. daughter used to have such beautiful hair. Face powder. Where did you get it? Whitewash from the wall in the kitchen. But why? What's the use? I don't know. Just makes me feel better. Too good. Come on. Try and sit up. I hope you. Come on. Come on. <coughs> oh, I can't make it today, Vi. Look, you've got to try. You've got to. You mustn't let them see you can't. Anfreden! Raus da! Runter da! Raus here! Raus! We are fit for work. You are coming with me. Where to? Commandant Suren's orders. Marsch! Raus! Marsch! 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 Bye. This is it. We're all together. By order of the Führer, the three British agents, Denise Bloch, Lillian Rolf, and Violette Sabo, 
After the shot. Weitermachen. Weitermachen. Heil jetzt ab. In Stellung. Land. On the 28th of January, 1947, Tania put on the dress which Violette had brought back from Paris. Now it fitted her. And she wore it when she was invited with her grandparents to Buckingham Palace. Majesty King George VI gave Tanya the George Cross and said, it is for your mother, take great care of it. She was a brave woman and you must always be very proud of her. See you again soon. Yes. The life that I have is all that I have. And the life that I have is yours. The love that I have of the life that I have is yours and yours and yours. The sleep I shall have, the rest I shall have. Yet death will be but a pause. For the peace of my years and the long green grass will be yours. And yours. And yours.